Good morning. Today we are going to discuss about UNESCO ICT competency framework for teachers. In this, teachers play the vital role in future society. They contribute much to the students. In for teacher, ICT skills and competency framework for teachers is the most important thing. A framework for training teachers to effectively integrate ICT in their practice. A set of competencies that teachers need to integrate ICT into their practice and professional development to advance student learning. What are competencies? Teacher competencies or descriptions of what a qualified teacher or qualified educator in a given country should know and be able to do. Why do we need competencies? Training institutes will need to procure lecturers and instructors to meet those competencies. Training providers provide training which meet country priorities as expressed in the competency framework. Teacher educators and teachers understand the minimum standards required of them. The community can be confident that students are being taught by teachers who have achieved agreed and transparent standards and competencies. In UNESCO competency framework for teachers, it have three levels and six aspects. In each aspect, it have three levels. Totally, it contains 18 competencies for teachers. The three levels are knowledge acquisition, knowledge deepening and knowledge creation. In knowledge acquisition, it enables teachers to pet students of different abilities, apes, gen grader, and social, cultural, and link backgrounds, use ICT be alive learners and active members of society. And the second, knowledge deepening. It increases the ability of teachers to support students of different abilities, ages, genders, and social linguistic backgrounds to apply knowledge to solve complex, high priority problems, encounter situations of work, society, and everyday life. And the third, knowledge creation. It enables teachers to engage in and benefit from knowledge creation, innovation, and lifelong learning. There are six aspects in UNESCO competencies framework for teachers, as I told before. And the first aspect is understanding ICT in education. In this aspect, the teacher must have the knowledge acquisition in policy understanding, knowledge deepening in policy application, and knowledge creation in policy innovation. This aspect encourages teachers to be aware of how ICT might be aligned to national education priorities as expressed within the policy environment. The next aspect is curriculum and assessment. In this aspect, the teacher must have the knowledge acquisition in basic knowledge and knowledge deepening in knowledge application and knowledge creation in knowledge society skills. This aspect explores how ICT might support the specific objectives as identified in the curriculum and play a role in supporting assessment. The third aspect is pedagogy. It the teacher must have the knowledge acquisition in ICT enhanced learning in pedagogy and knowledge deepening in complex problem solving and knowledge creation in self-management. This aspect encourages teachers to acquire ICT skills to support effective teaching and learning methods. In the knowledge acquisition level, ICT is integrated into traditional teaching methods. The next aspect is application of digital skills. In this aspect, the teacher must have the knowledge acquisition in application of digital skills and knowledge deepening in infusion and knowledge creation in transformation. This aspect is sizable in the knowledge acquisition level because basic ICT skills are a prerequisite for integrating technology into a teacher's duties. In these subsequent levels, the function of the digital tools rather than the tools themselves may be identified to reinforce and enhance learning. The next aspect is organization and administration. 
In this aspect, the teacher must have the knowledge acquisition in standard classroom and knowledge deepening in collaborative groups and knowledge creation in learning organizations. This aspect suggests ways to manage the school's digital assets as well as safeguard the people who use them. In the subsequent levels, the emphasis moves to create an environment to facilitate collaborative learning. This aspect also encompasses how teachers can support the development of ICT plans to actualize the school's technology strategy. And the last aspect is teachers' professional learning. In this aspect, the knowledge acquisition of digital literacy for a teacher is the most important thing because she have to teach the students about the digital platform in a proper way and the knowledge deepening in networking and knowledge creation in teacher as an innovator. The innovating teacher only make the students as an innovator. The final aspect is designed to suggest ways that ICT can empower teachers to embark on lifelong professional development. I hope you all understood the UNESCO competencies framework for teachers. Thank you for your patience listening. Thank you.